Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail. We're still broke, but the situation is slowly getting better. And we're heading off to the final frontier. A distress call from General Augustine, Previs, the commander of our base in Savannah, has found you while patrolling the coast of Georgia. Rebel army and militia forces are on their way to attack Savannah. Previs' main force has joined an invading British army, currently involved in engagements near the borders of South and North Carolina. He is begging you to sail to Savannah to assist with the defense of the city. The general seems to have been caught unprepared and the fall of the city to the rebels seems almost certain. You have no choice but to set course for Savannah. We have uh, five uh, troop uh, transports ready to go. One has uh, a few cannons finally loaded up. So uh, the Whitby, these guys go first and these guys will uh, go last. Thank God you have arrived on time, Captain. Our scouts report the rebel movements to the southeast. Their attack is expected any time now. We've mobilized all loyal militia we could, but there are only a couple of small regular regiments. We also have some pieces of artillery, a good supply stock, and some draft wooden fences around the city. General Previs has given you command over the outer defenses. Hurry and disembark your men and hold the line. Okay. Um, let's uh, get a defensive line going. We'll pop some cannon up here. That looks like a good position. Okay, let's see. Send you to land. Send you to land. Send you to land here. And you to land here, and you to land here. These cannon are just fine where they are. Um, I want to move the cannons away from uh, the direct line of fire. What about you, artillery? Let's have you start moving up. Okay, let's start you moving up there. Let's start you moving up here. Move the cannon to the top. Okay, let's get you moving up. Let's reposition our men a bit. Our two units of artillery go here. You pretend the left flank, you go here. You go here. I want you positioned here.
Um, Rebel is advanced on our center. In which case... Move you here. You go here. You go here. Pop one of you here. Let's move you here. These guys are moving slowly. They are moving at least. You go here. You march in here. You're the west. We're working on it. We're working on it. Uh, we must hold east and west. Okay. East. Move you here. Hold up, what are you doing here? You're supposed to move up here. Move you here. Okay. Friendly fire. Let's move you over a bit. Let's push this guy, the skirmishers, out. And uh, now we just need to hold. Rebel Marine spotted on the right. Roger. Move you up here to provide extra support in case this... Oh, yeah. 
In case this falls. Looks like it is needed. Uh, you run back into your uh, position. Rebels to the left. Let's move you up here. I think we're holding this uh, position just fine. Ah. Let's move you over here. Let's move you over here. Let's move you over there. Rebel Marine spotted to our left, no problem. Yeah, they're not gonna get into uh, our positions. Let's have these fusiliers move into the forest here. Okay. I mean, all things considered, I can't really complain about how this battle is going. It's, it's not a very, very rough defense, I have to be honest. I'm also considering maybe once the defense has been officially repelled, uh, we go uh, for the offensive. Go ahead and spend some time capturing, like, their cannons and stuff. Because, I mean, we do know they have cannon. Probably on the hill over here. Or maybe we don't. Yeah, I think we're just going to uh, call it quits once uh, the attacks have been repelled. It's not like we gain more reputation for uh, capturing cannon and all of that stuff. My condolences, uh, Josia Alms. And we have victory.
That was uh, easy enough. Oh, our defensive lines in Savannah were able to hold long enough to evacuate most of our men and guns, but we were forced to leave behind huge stores of rum, food, ammunition, and the bodies of our dead. The poor admiral has fallen ill with the disease of the heart. At his age, he might not recover. The remains of our squadron and expeditionary forces are on the way to Jamaica. A war here is over. Ah, That's a shame. Let's uh, just send La Concurrent to the Admiralty to save some cash. And uh, let's head to the next stage. Royal Navy left Savannah. Terrible news from the colonies. It is being reported that after an unsuccessful attempt to move inland, our troops in Savannah were cut off by the rebel and wild French, who had transferred a significant number of troops to the area. It's not worth asking when these ill-bred frogs will learn how to stay out of a disagreement between gentlemen. But how was our Admiralty not aware of this situation? Why are our forces once again in retreat? According to reports, most of the surviving troops owed their salvation to the skillful command of Horatio Nelson. Our correspondent in Jamaica hopes to soon meet with our hero and interview him. End of a chapter. After Cornwallis surrender at Yorktown, it is just not worth the cost to send another army to subdue the American colonies. With the French monarchy overthrown, the mob pretending to rule and aristocrats being executed, we must turn our attention to the continent. England is the only nation that can ensure the law and order will return to Europe. We must support the French royalists in their fight against the French Republic, as we once fought with rebels in America. If we do not stop its spread now, then the poison of revolution will destroy all it touches. As thank you for a commendable service in the colonies, I will do my best to assist you in preparing for your new assignment in the Mediterranean. I can either secure a shipment of high quality muskets or write a recommendation to the Admiralty. I, I need more reputation. Um, report plus 35 reputation. The execution of Mario Antoinette. After a short trial by Revolutionary Tribunal, Mario Marie Antoinette was convicted of high treason and sentenced to death. On October 16th, 1793, the Queen of France was executed by guillotine like a common criminal. Our shipyards are now working hard around the clock to bring our fleet back in fighting trim to prevent this madness from spreading. The promising young naval commander, Horatio Nelson, will be taking on a major role in the upcoming Mediterranean campaign. As the lone bright spot in the war against the American colonies, he will surely turn the tide in war of our favor. Uh, so we go to the Siege of Toulon. On June 2nd, 1793... Uh... I guess this is mainly uh, troop ships. How many vessels could we bring? Five. Um, so let's uh, bring uh, five uh, troops, troop ships uh, up to snuff. And uh, we will uh, stop the plague that is the French revolutionaries. Who doesn't hate the fresh French, am I right? French and their baguettes. Um I think accuracy is more important with cannon. Since you have limited supply on them. Well, with those, I go for a rate of fire because you're close enough. It's. Muskets of the time was more volume of fire after all. Okay, so our ships are ready. That's already. Well, in the next episode, we're going to. Uh... The Siege of Toulon. So until then, I do hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and all of that. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.